Texas A&M is kind of a physical team. They got a pretty big front line. Uh, how much of a challenge is it for you and some of the other front court guys to deal with them, particularly defending, boxing, everything? Um, yeah, you know, they're definitely a physical team. Their front court's one of the best in the country. Um, but our bigs have done a great job all season, and I'm sure they'll lock in on their assignments. I think it's important that we uh, really stick to the game plan. And, you know, um, the guards have to rebound down a lot this game. Obviously, the bigs are going to have their hands pulled down low. So as long as they box out and, you know, Casey and Cheese, and Cheese can rebound the ball great, and, um, you know, Devin, Jay Lee and I are definitely going to have to get on the glass. How aware are you of your uh, free throw streak right now? It's 35 in a row. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get to 90, honestly. I've been kind of <laughs> on, on the climb for a while. I was kind of mad I missed, you know, one for four in my first game, which definitely hurt my percentage. But uh, every time you step the line, you just got to be confident. Uh, I think our free throw shooting as a team has improved a lot this year. So hopefully we we'll to keep that. That 90% or 90 in a row? 90%. <laughs> I mean, I take 90 in a row, too. So Yeah, that's what I thought you were. What's the most your dad ever made? I have no idea. <laughs> Did, but, so you, I'm sure when you arrived here, I mean, there has to be some nerves and how you're going to fit in and adjust. It just how it has the whole kind of experience coming coming to Florida been for you? Um, it's been great. You know, as I've said before, I think my teammates really just welcomed me, uh, which was big. Being a fifth-year guy coming in, only having one year, that's kind of one of the things you worry about is how well the chemistry is going to be, how well you fit in. And obviously, I think these last couple of games, everyone's been clicking on all cylinders and just team chemistry has been great. How, how how do you approach kind of the whole student athlete thing? You, you seem to be exceptional at, at juggling both. Um, I think time management is the most important thing. Just doing your work when you have some free time. Um, you know, it's one of those things that you've done it for four years to now at this point. It's kind of just routine. You know. Your thoughts uh, just on uh, the streak that you guys are on and the confidence that you guys are playing with right now. Um, yeah, I think we're definitely peaking towards the right the right time in the season. Obviously, we've had a, a great stretch here, and we'd like to keep it going. Um, you know, I think uh, everyone's head's in a good spot. We're all playing for each other. We just want to keep winning, and I think it shows on the court. You know, everyone's super happy for each other. No one's getting their feelings. No one has personal agendas, and I think that's been part of the reason we've been so successful these past few games. It's, it's key to getting one to a good start. Um, yeah, I think we're definitely conscious of that, just having the right mindset. You know, we can't have any excuses. We had to wake up early or we had to get the shoot around or anything like that. We just got to go in. And um, I think at this point, everyone realizes how important every game is, especially with this SEC race being so tight. So I think we'll be ready to play again. Was there ever a time where you struggled to feel like what your role was on this team and how comfortable do you feel in your role right now, as opposed to the beginning of the season? Um, you know, I think there's always an adjustment period for everyone, just at the start of the season, getting used to the different style, especially for me transferring. But um, for the other guys too, you know, you got new people you're not used to playing with. Um, obviously, it's Coach White's second year, so they've uh, kind of gotten used to the system. I'm getting used to the system too, and I think these past few games, like I said, we just kind of really bought into everything he's preaching, and uh, I think our offense has been going well, and again, our defense has really picked up. So I think everyone's kind of understands their role, and I think it shows again we're just clicking on all cylinders. Kenya, there was a talk radio show in Jacksonville the other day where the debate was who's right now, who's the Florida MVP, and there were like four guys, and there were like six answers. That's a, is that a good thing? Definitely. Um, you know, I think, I think it shows that on any given night, you know, anyone on our team could have a great game, go for 20 or get eight points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists, you know. So um, we have all these guys that are playing so well at the same time. It's awesome. And, you know, I think it, it shows, too, that none of us really care who's the guy on any given night. We're just trying to go out there and play our best and win games. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Ken.